Now, August the 6th, 1962, was a special day for the Jamaican community. And today, events were held across the region to mark the Caribbean nation's 50th anniversary of independence. Our reporter, Rajiv Poppet, at Birmingham's Victoria Square for us now. So I guess there's quite an atmosphere there, Rajiv. The atmosphere, Bob, is electric. It's fantastic. You can hear the music. What you can't smell, though, is the jerk chicken. It's glorious. Ceremonies have been taking place across the country where the Jamaican flag has been hoisted, including this one. Take a look at this in Leicester. That's the Jamaican anthem being sung. Jamaica is 50 and proud today. It's exactly 50 years ago today since Jamaica gained independence from Britain. And I spoke to some of those people who turned up this morning and they explained to me what it meant to them as Jamaica celebrates its independence. After 50 years, we can at least say we're here just to celebrate and to be proud to be Jamaicans, British, you know, citizens of Leicester. So it's just so important. It's just about striving and trying to be successful in whatever we do in life and to try and live a good life. Well, one couple who's celebrating today is Pauline and Richards, and they are, they're from Great Bar. They moved to uh, Britain in the 60s when they were teenagers, and they said when they came over, they wanted to head straight back. They told me exactly why. Coming over England, and I saw the houses, it looks to me as if there wasn't houses, there were like chimneys. You know, like, we didn't see those things in Jamaica. Houses doesn't have chimneys. And as I landed and looked around, it was very, very cold. And I thought, I want to go home. I don't want to be here. I lived in a little village. And everybody knew everybody. And you, you walked on the street and, you, you know, everybody greeted everybody. Mm. When I landed in there, nobody spoke. Everybody was just sort of focused with their bags and they were going their way. I worked in a washer factory, making washers and, and hand presses called GNS Bruff. It's a long time ago, I don't know whether they exist now. I went to a girls school and there wasn't many black children, but I, I didn't feel out of place. I think they, they had um, an idea that we weren't as, as forward in reading as the other children. But it turned out I was read, I could read the books, but this, this person that was supposed to be helping me read couldn't read. People living in Birmingham that time, there were places that we were told that it's best not to go to that area because, you know, black people don't, are not welcome in those areas. And I, have, I can remember seeing signs on pubs saying, no Irish, no dogs, and no blacks welcome. Jamaican independence means, you know, that it just reinforced my roots, that I was born in Jamaica, and, you know, I can be British, but have that same roots in Jamaica. Well, Jamaica is also celebrating what a certain athlete does best. I'm joined now by Maureen Davis, Usain Bolt's cousin. How do you feel that he won yesterday? Oh, just wonderful. We're just so excited. We're still celebrating. Where were you watching it? Oh, at home. Yeah, jumping for joy. And it's a double celebration also for you as well, Betsy Davis, Usain's aunt, isn't it? That is correct. How did you feel? What were you doing? I was electrified. It was as if I was in the stadium myself. I jumped and I shouted. I was really very elated. So happy for him. How do you think he was celebrating? You mean after the Olympics? Well, I am not very certain yet what format it is going to take. But what I do, what, what, what we are hoping for is to first have a celebration of thanksgiving we need to give thanks to god who has been taking him through all of this sure and maureen he's still got two events hasn't he and uh, how are you feeling about that oh <clears throat> excited i was nervous before the 100 meter finals but now i'm excited now i know that you know he's going to go for it again his mum's over here at the moment have you had a chance to speak to yes, her i did I, I spoke to her on saturday OK, yeah. well, all the best and thanks for joining us. Well, these celebrations here in Birmingham will continue for a good few hours yet. Rajiv, thanks very much. Thanks, Rajiv. <laughs> now, the National...